Hey, let's talk for a second about where you put your weapon mounted light on your carbine. So if you see this one here, this is a mod light and it's pretty, it's, it's recessed a little bit, right? About three inches back from the end of the muzzle device. And the reason is because this is a white light. I don't run a lot of white light. Most of the things that, um, you know, that I do is infrared under night vision. The majority of the things that we do here, you know, we do uh, under night vision. So white light is not the primary source of illumination. That being said, why do we put it back this far? Because I do not want to have an AD with that, right? So you got a, a true north concept, true north concept uh, grip stop here. We've got um, a tape wrap here, which also helps to shield the hand from uh, heat buildup inside this uh, fore end. And then you got the light recessed a little bit so that when you drive the hand in there, it gives you a good touch point if you're doing this in the dark. Right, you can feel that, that, and this, and you know, bam, my hand's in the right spot. No chance of me driving that hand in too far. The fat part of my hand here is not going to activate that light because the button is so recessed inside that that mod light tail cap. Drive it in, nothing's going to come on. Right, so I've got the I got the hand in there pretty good. Now, if I need to hit the white light for whatever reason, drive it back, bam, I hit it. But that's you know that's uh, it's got it's going to be a dedicated. It's a dedicated um, decision to come back off of that and hit it. And that's what you want. You don't want to have an option where you're accidentally hitting it, right? So you push it too far forward and you know you think, well, that's ergonomical. I can just drive the finger up or the thumb up and bang it. But you don't, you don't want it to be, well, let me put it this way. I don't want it to be that easy where I just drive the thumb up and hit it. I want to have to come off and pop it to activate that white light, especially if I'm in a uh, a no an IR light environment. <clears throat> so, well, what about light obs? Uh, you know the 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 it's called light obscuration. It's kind of a big word, but it just means basically that you turn that thing on. Part of your light is being cut off by that. So, all the lights going this way, but there's some of it that's not making it that direction. And no, that's not an illegal substance on my hand. It's some product we were making earlier that um, is still on me. Anyway, uh, you see this part right here. That much of the light is being cut off downrange. Okay, big deal. It's not that big of a deal. If it is to you, then move your light on out. But we don't run our light in a white light setting nine times out of ten anyway, so that's not a problem for, for us. So just a thought, move your light back use it as a touch point when you need it try the hand pop it move back out on front so that's it just wanted to throw that out at you